You know what I'm, I'm yeah, trying to you, say? Yeah, like, you, you don't know, get that. You don't get that the going back to the uh, personable thing. Yeah. You don't get that I'm the guy running the show. Right. I'm pretty sure I walk around like Target and um, Walmart and people see me wearing my Grand Tutor and stuff. Yeah. They might not put, put two and two together, but um, if even if they do have a kid getting tutored by me, they're like, oh, I, I know that company. That's a great company. Mm -hmm. Talk to whoever's on that phone, the other side of the phone, and they're great. Yeah. But I guess going back to the, the, the interview thing. So she called me. And she was just like, um, so how did you get started? And I tell the same story, like I, you know, I was at work, didn't want to, didn't want to get an extra job, so I just started tutoring. Right, yeah. And she was like, so how did you get your tutors? And I was like, well, my first one was my mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, like, she's, my mom's always down to do whatever. I mean, she was the first Is your mom person. a teacher? Yes. Oh, she's, I didn't know that. Yeah, so the last, two years ago, we worked at the same elementary school. Okay. We graduated college together. Okay. So we've done a lot of things together. And she helped me sell, started selling candy in junior high, which is a whole nother story. <laughs> yeah. So I said getting tutors, um, I, for me, it was pretty hard at first because it was just me and my mom. And then now it's kind of like, you want, my mindset is like, oh, I just want teachers. Yeah. And then it's kind of like, these teachers that work with me aren't going to like work for me. Mm -hmm. Like, right. Not gonna work for you. Yeah. So you have that. Well, I gotta think outside the box. But then some teachers are like, oh yeah, I'll do it. Like extra money, cool. Right. And then I said, they're probably the same in the same position. Yes. You know. Um, I did tell her, you know, use all the free access as possible. Use all the community pages, mm -hmm. um, all the ones surrounding Gainesville, um, and just ask for tutors, interview them, ask them what they're good at, make sure they are knowledgeable about um, what um, subject they're saying. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of college students. Mm -hmm. uh, I have five <clears throat> from FSU. So wow. I might just call myself Grant Tutor in Tallahassee edition. Cause all, like, you all could, but you could do that. Like you could you don't even have to call it Tallahassee. Like you could just change your like how where you offer your business. Yeah, well I mean I aren't you in Georgia or South Carolina? Am I? I thought I thought you were like had a tutor. I had I had a tutor in Ohio. Oh, but okay. he's he's he got busy. So yeah. okay, well, so still I, that's I, awesome. No, I have a tutor in St. John's County. I have five at FSU. I have um, I had one in Alaska. Oh, but wow. she moved. So um, see, that's growth. That's really. Growth. But yeah, I mean, I <laughs> and those are online tutors, and that's something that and I told her I said. Um, Moving to online was probably the best thing that I wanted and year two that was my goal Yeah, is getting parents and students to get tutored online mm -hmm. um, Just because everything the everything in school is pretty much online on a computer and Just getting the kid comfortable with them good getting the kid comfortable with doing anything online. Yeah um, She asked like how did you figure out how much you should charge and I just said <laughs> Well, I said that when I first started, I charged how much a teacher got paid. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Then I figured out um, kind of like where you're living. You don't want to overcharge because of, um, you don't want to be that company that overcharges. Especially, you got to know your community, mm -hmm. pretty much. Know um, your community. Know your community and... Support each other. Yes. That um, is a good one. You, you supported her and her. Yeah, so I mean, even if someone's calling you, they're not... They're not competition. It's just you're giving the helping hand. Right. And I mean, it took a lot of courage for her to reach out to me mm -hmm. to say, hey, I'm going to take this chance. I don't know who I'm going to be in contact with, yeah. but I'm going to send this email. And I told her, I was like, I'm, I'm the guy that runs the show. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. And it also probably took her a lot to email me that, yeah. like getting past your own kind of ego, ego, you know, and, and just. And, and being honest, like I told her, I was yeah. like, I didn't go to school for business. I do not have a business major. I didn't even minor in business. Which is I'm just learning on the fly. Kind of like the norm now. Like a lot of people that go to college for like the, their degrees, like they don't even end up yeah. using. Well, I don't want to say a lot, but like a lot of people that I know went to like four years, eight years, and they they don't even use their degree. And they yeah, use their trade. And it's one of those things that I think in this generation it's doing 
people are able to make money off of things that they like doing. Right. So, and if they're good at it, and you have, I mean, even if you're not the best at it, you can go on YouTube and make a video about how, like, hey, I'm not that good, but hey, There watch are six-year-olds making millions right now for reviewing toys. Yes, I, like, we need to start reviewing What toys. a business model. Hey, hey, Billy, get in front of the camera. Seriously. Tell me how you like this toy. Oh, I'm about crazy. to start doing that. He, um, this little kid actually got sponsored on, on Nickelodeon, has his own show now. It's crazy. I, I need that kind of job. Right. So, but yeah, I mean, I've always thought about doing YouTube. Why? Well, I, I tried, and I just, I, yeah. I couldn't do it. Like, well, it's for some. No, I know. I, some people. I think eventually I will, because as I said, I always say what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. and I get really nervous about doing it, and then one day it'll click, and then I'll just do it. Yeah. Kind of like the podcast. Like I, I've always talked about doing it, and yeah, and I mean even with you, like I think we talked months ago, and I was like, we got to do something together, and I was like, I want to. No, it was. What was that for? What did we get together? Oh, it was Florida, the Florida Georgia yes, game. Yes, it was. And yeah, I, and that was back in. It was last year, wasn't it? November. Yeah, and so I was just been building up. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, we got to do something together. I don't know what it's gonna be. See, we were patient. Patient, yes. We had patience. And, <laughs> Look at uh, that full circle. Right? I'm all about that. Things always come full circle. Yeah, so, I mean, we talked about it, and we planned it, and we, it, you know. We, we both talk, have kids, like young babies, so yes, it, mine it, it was, took us a while yeah, to Yeah, mine was just rolling. like three months at that time. Yeah. Um, and and mine was like five yeah, weeks. <laughs> yeah. And two years, yeah. Wait, two did years you already have? I already had Callie then. Oh, Maybe she was two months. Yeah, I think she was two months. So Edison was. I don't know how old he was, but I he mean, was yeah. Born in June, so like. Five months. Oh. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not do months in here. Uh, no, so but yeah, we were we we talked about it. We came up with ideas, mm -hmm. but then it was kind of like, okay, how are we gonna start it? Just because like, obviously I'm a full time teacher. I already have another podcast. I. Uh, I've got a random question. Are you are you the type of uh, person that has to make lists? Make lists. Lists to remember, like what I like do. random ideas or you know what I'm trying to uh, say. Like, yeah, so like I'm a I, lister, so I don't know I, if you're a lister. It really I, helps me. I want to say I'm not because I kind of just remember because I I don't know like I did forget two things. I have to shoot a podcast this week, and I, I forgot, or this upcoming week. So it'll be out this one. Oh, so if you're, if you're listening to this on Monday. Oh, awkwardly Surprising. Well, I have Awkwardly Surprising coming out this Wednesday, and then I have Play Fast Football podcast coming out the same day on oh, Wednesday. Oh, okay. But we shoot the Play Fast Football podcast every two weeks. Okay. And I forgot that we have to record it. And he came up to me, he was like, yeah, well, we're going to uh, record. And I was like, oh, yeah, we have to do that, don't we? You have so many things going on now. Yeah, so, but you I... got to be a lister. No, Start I... Start making your list. I try to, but then I have like a thousand lists, and I'm like, I don't know what list to look at. Do you use your um, I have my little, notes? I have my little booklet. In, uh, oh, that's right. That's yeah. helpful. No, my notes on my phone, I, as I said, there's so many things. Oh, so a lot true. of them are just repeated things. Yeah. And I don't want to go through and like, I don't want to delete it because I don't know it. Right. So yeah. Maybe I'm, I'll need this in like six months exactly. on a Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm I'm a semi lister, but I'm also kind of I remember like I So I guess it's to each his own on that one. I love to make lists. It it just helps me it gives me like a sense of uh, calmness when I write something down because I'll know I know I'll reference back to it to, you know, make sure that whatever's on that list gets fulfilled. Yeah. You know, and no, that, that I won't forget. Sense. And I mean, as I said, I, I have a little book that I write stuff in. I should, I had it last episode. Oh, um, that's right. I should start using it. I keep it in my book bag and I have stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I'll put things on my Google Calendar yeah. because that's where all my tutors, like, okay. um, where their sessions are. So I always look at it. So if I have to remember something, like if it's super important, I'll put it on the calendar. Yeah. Like my wife has a calendar in the kitchen. She writes everything on it. I never look at it. I'm like, dude, just put it on the Google Calendar. That's the only thing oh, I look at. Yeah. So I get you on that. Oh, so. That's okay. It's We like to do that uh, calendar stuff, like writing on a dry erase board, like yeah, no. little birthdays I here. Can't, like, I can't do that. 
Uh, You're I a have, teacher, don't you like, have, write on a whiteboard all the time? <laughs> Sorry guys. Trash can. <laughs> Very one day. We wanted to record outside today because it's so beautiful. Um, no, like all my stuff is, no, because one, I have terrible handwriting. So I'll go on like Word, type it up, and then have it on the overhead. Oh, I see. Okay. So, um, or I'll have a student read. Uh, terrible hat. I used to love that in school. Oh, teach! You want me to go up there and write for you? Elementary, yes. elementary kids love that. high school kids not so much. You're calling me an elementary kid? No, I'm saying that wow. elementary kids love. You writing. guys heard that, right? Literally, hey, <laughs> but look at the positive. That means you're a kid at heart. That's true. Always, always be young. There's always. Be young. Be. <laughs> you guys didn't know you'd be serenaded today. Hey, Jay Z. Uh, hey, Jay Z. Yes. Yes. Me. I am two for two. <laughs> so, um, I think this episode, you can call it patience. We can call it... Pa patience, patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. There we go. Or patience full circle. Whatever. I guess you guys will find out. I think out I like once. patience as a virtue. Right. Look at me. Just dropping gems. Yeah, right. Dropping gems. So let's touch, touch a little bit on what we talked about. Um, being patient, obviously. Uh, taking a leap. You know, like, don't be afraid. Seek out help. Um, don't, don't ever be it. too proud. To don't work. have an ego. Yes. Um, and know your worth. Know your worth, baby girl. Yes. Yeah, sometimes you have to do things for free to get paid. That's right. So, uh, yeah. If you guys uh, have any questions, we would love some feedback or anything you want us to talk about. Just uh, email jacksentrepreneurs at gmail.com or you can uh, message us separately it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, our IG names, Pablo underscore Grant. Mine's Becca Stevens, but no E in the uh in, in the last part of Stevens. I'm trying to think is mine Pablo Grant twenty four? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Pablo well if you type in Pablo Grant, it, it'll be on the if you're watching this video, it'll pop up on the screen. Yeah. Um, yeah we'll do if that. you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe. Oh um, something else I want to touch on. <clears throat> the 60 second small business sec segment that you will hear at our um, oh, yeah. midway point. I'll just, uh, I'll just cut it in there. No, I know. I'm, I'm telling them oh, if you want to be featured it. on the show <laughs> on the podcast, I don't know what to call this. Podcast. If you want show, to be featured. Podcast, whatever. Yeah. Hit us up. And. Uh, Yes, we're looking for small businesses. Yeah, we've already got the next like three weeks lined up. We're gonna do like 60 seconds of uh, all about your business. So if you want to advertise it, just let us know and we'll uh, we'll fit you in. Yes, uh, if you send an email, Jack's Entrepreneurs. Yeah, at gmail. At gmail.com or just send, a, send us a message on Instagram or Facebook um, and just let us know, let us know about your business. Um, where you're located. You do not have to be in Jackson, Jacksonville to mm -hmm. um, share your business. We are just here to get you guys out there. And we're here to be the plug. Yes, we are the plug. <laughs> That'd be a nice title. The plug. the plug. We're the plug. The plug. But we don't know yet because we have to discuss it after this. But yes, um, send, us, send us your questions. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed episode two. Um, and we will catch you guys next time on Jacksonville Entrepreneurs. Okay, love you, bye.